What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to episode number 8 of the Ultimate FIFA series. Today guys, we have got a pack opening for you. I am searching for Inform Gareth Bale. There is currently none of him on the PS3 market. As you can see guys, in the top right hand corner, there is a, a big marker over there that says nothing to see here. Perhaps it says like and fave if I change it. Something along those lines anyway. The reason why I've got that covered up guys is because... Um, upon making this pack opening, I've actually played way, way in advance of where the videos that you're currently seeing are um, by about 25 or 30 games. Um, so I don't want you to see my record um, and and such, just so that it's a nice surprise when we go through the actual actual games. So, like I said, guys, this is a pack opening. Uh, the first pack opening is with coins. This is in two parts. The first side of it is with coins until my trade pile is pretty much filled up. And the second part of it is with 4,600 FIFA points, um, where I give you guys the best bits of it. But that is just two packs. And one of those packs is the free season ticket packs, because EA just so bad with packs. Um, I decided today, guys, to do a question time, because I haven't done a question time in a long time with you guys. If you do want to be able to send me questions, be sure to be following me on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash nepenthes and the first question we have got is from jordan the gunner always good to be a gunner jordan and he asks what is the craziest thing that has happened at your pub um my pub doesn't tend to have too many crazy things that happen uh, but from memory one of the most insane things that ever happens and i'm, I'm going to use the term uh rod f to to save uh, um implications of going to jail for the person this actually happened to um basically rod and rod's wife were having a drink outside one day and um some drunk russian guy who wouldn't leave like after closing time and didn't understand that we were asking him to leave um got very feisty in front of rod's wife now th this russian guy didn't understand a word of english and was getting very agitated and very upset that he couldn't he couldn't fathom what was happening basically he didn't understand why he had to leave um now russian guy uh touched rod's wife inappropriately and uh at that point rod punched him and knocked him over flat on the floor um as russian guy was getting back up rod gave russian guy his coat uh, russian guy accidentally dropped his coat and as he bent down to pick up his coat rod went and punted his head just an absolute punt i mean i feel a bit bad for the russian guy because he had like fingers missing and teeth missing and shit he looks like he's been in the wars anyway um but instead of falling over th now this russian guy was big he must have been like 17 or 18 stone but instead of falling over he just staggered around for a bit as if nothing had happened and then he eventually fell over it was like a, a comedy sketch of being kicked in the face and then just like you know falling about for a while um Eventually, the Russian guy got up, got his coat, gathered his thoughts, and moved on. Um, but it was it, that you know, it was just a mental thing to see someone as close to you as Rod was to me do something like that. I, I guess um, the next question is from Anav Sawney, and Anav asks, "How much do you make off YouTube in the ballpark of?" Well, basically, I make. And then if you times that by seven, and um, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I mean, it pays a few bills, I guess. I mean, like you can go back and listen to that over again if you really want to get into the ins and outs of it. But that's pretty much how I make, how much I make off of YouTube. Um, hey, it's Keen says, what do you think about doing a career mode serious? Um, I'm not sure what a career mode serious is. I've heard of the career mode joke, but I've not heard of the career mode serious. Um, in terms of career mode, though, I'm not a huge fan of offline gameplay. You can tell by the, the amount I upload my offline player career mode. Um, I, I sit there and I think, yeah, let me do this. Let me be the best there ever is. And then I get bored after like four games and I'm like, actually, fuck this series. Let's go back to Ultimate Team because that's where the fun is at. Um, so, yeah, I mean, seriously, am I going to do a career mode series? Almost definitely not. However, the way the Ultimate FIFA series works, what you guys want is what you guys will get. So if you dictate that every now and then you want career mode, you will get career mode. The next question is from Sam, and Sam asks, what tips do you have for starting FIFA? Um, basically, Sam, I recommend you build a pretty overpowered team and just go out there and try and have fun. You're going to get dicked on a lot. Um, just try and take tips from your favorite YouTubers. There's a lot of guys out there that are really good at this game and have, have put out many, many tips. Um, take on board those tips. Try and adjust yourself as much as possible. Um, try and get 
try and find a sparring partner try and find someone who's um better than you considerably that you have you can you know converse with a lot so you can play them online and play them over and over and over again and try and pick up things they do to you as to why they get the best of you each time uh, and apply that to your game and, and see if that works for you but ultimately you will develop your own fifa style um and you will get better at the game the more you play 99 Elastico says, what was your first video? My first video was actually a weightlifting video. Uh, it's no longer on the interwebs. It's a shame. Like um, when I first started YouTube, uh, like started FIFA YouTube, um, I had some advice from a fellow FIFA YouTuber and he suggested that I get rid of everything on my channel that's not related to FIFA. Um, so I got rid of my training videos, my videos where I'm dancing. I got rid of my COD videos. Um, and instead of just keeping them as unlisted because I'm quite anal in this sort of sense I actually deleted all of them uh, I kind of wish that I hadn't deleted all of them because had I known I'd get to this stage in YouTube they would have been like epic memorabilia of like this is where it began you know it's real shame that I've deleted those and I've even deleted a lot of my old FIFA videos that I had to delete when I got partnership because of copyright music um, where I didn't have to delete them I had to like take them off of being public um, and that's a shame that I also deleted them that was very very silly of me to do so because they were some pretty epic videos as well um, Next question is from Monis Kamal. He asks, do you still write songs? If so, how about you give us something every now and then? I haven't written music for about two years, I'd say now. Uh, that being said, I was actually talking to a couple of other guys from YouTube about music just the other day. Uh, I've actually got a song that I've written that needs a chorus to be sung, and I can't sing very well. So I'm looking for a female artist that can sing. So if you happen to be listening to my video and you're a female artist that can sing, hit me up because we could work together and the song's already written and the chorus is already written I just need someone to sing it um, Ollie Fell asks the favorite video of yours my favorite ever video that I put out was I think it was episode 12 Ruin a Random on FIFA 12 and basically I went 4-0 down at half time and I was just not having a good time um, I was raging like I've never raged before and I came back to win 6-4 uh, in the second half and it was one of the greatest ever comebacks and it made for an awesome awesome video um it, it got like at the time it got around 20,000 views which for a channel my size when i had around 15,000 subs like that was an insane amount of views for a video for me so i really really enjoyed that um kane Vizard asks and this will be the last question we answer today guys he asks what's the best pack you ever got the best pack i ever got i've, I've got a few good packs inform falcao team of the year sergio ramos um, but the best pack I ever got was a pack where, you know when you start FIFA 13 for the first time on an account where you had FIFA 12 and FIFA 11, you basically get three player-only packs. And in these player-only packs, you get four gold players, four silver players, and four bronze players. One of my gold players was Ribery. Um No, maybe Robin. It was either Ribery or Robin, one of the two. The, it's in, if you go to my playlist and have a look at the pack opening playlist, it's called, it's titled like best free pack ever. Um, you can go and check that out. It's a pretty awesome pack. We are coming towards the end of the episode now though, guys. So if you did enjoy this, be sure to leave a like rating. If we can get around 3,000 likes on this video, that would be epic. As you can see, my pack luck is terrible. But uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.